Jack used to shit for Britain. I promise you he did. Instead of saying, Daddy, I whispered in her ear, call me Simon. The name of my actual dad. We never get emails like this on our podcast. I don't think I can handle this. I mean, obviously, last time you were on, we weren't married yet, which was saying, so we were preparing our wedding, I which was great. Now we're married. About that bloody wedding. What? Where are you going? I'm going. Go and fight yourself. He's very sore about not getting an invite. I did tell you. Jamie, you need to go after him. He's very sore that you never invited him to the okay, wedding. Hold on one I'm second. So sorry, I'm so, so, so sorry. sorry. Are you chewing? Are you chewing gum as we do a podcast? That is just. Look, where S A M R. What's that thing? What? What are you doing? No, that's awful. What, you're trying to do ASMR? Yep, that was it. Do some ASMR for the top of the podcast. <sighs> no, I don't like it. I feel like heebie jeebie. You just breathe. Okay. That's you breathing into the. That's not ASMR. You're not going. <sighs> okay, wait. <laughs> okay, wait. That is ASMR. You meant to whisper things. Whisper something sweet. Hello. I'm going to give you ASMR. It sounds like something <laughs> sexual. Okay, guys. That's the whole point I of it. I just have to tell you about something that happened okay. at the Pride of Britain. All right, go. So we were on this table. We went to the Pride of Britain. Awards. We went to the Pride of Britain. Firstly, let's skate back to last year. Blonde girl coronation suit sat on our table last year. So okay. she was pregnant. Right. Anyway, so, Helen Flanagan. No, so last year I said to her, oh, "But you're a f- you're a famous TikToker." And Jamie was like, "And she went, no, no, I'm on Coronation Street." So that was killer. I don't know why I thought she was a famous TikToker. The reason being is because she's just like really young and pretty, you know. Like, yeah, I'm digging myself a hole. <laughs> anyway, this year, <laughs> this is brilliant. I'm sat next to some guy. Can I just tee this up for you? Ugh, always. Uh, Sophie is sitting next to Callum Scott, the singer. That's who you're sitting next to. Big and singer. I said, but you all know them because they're on Love Island, like you, to him, because someone else is on Love Island. <laughs> and his agent goes to me, Callum's a singer. And I went, oh. And then I'm in the car. I still didn't click. Still didn't click. I was like, sorry, obviously, sorry, mustn't be a big singer. Like, I don't yeah. know who he is. I'm in the car today singing away to what's his song that's so famous. Callum Scott. He's genuinely my favourite singer. Yeah, yeah, I no, know. But like, I am obsessed with Callum Scott. He's my favourite singer at yes. the moment. And I was sat next to him. And firstly, I didn't like get a photo with him or anything. And secondly, I thought he was from Love Island. You thought Callum Scott was from Love Island? But sing his song like Dancing at... Uh, da- Somebody said you want to go where. Da, 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 go where. I don't, no. I'm in the corner watching the field. I said me. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Right and over, over here, here and why don't you see me? Oh, oh, oh. I think got all the words wrong, but like that is that song. That's Callum me Scott. Chills. I love it. I I choose it on my, like I'm obsessed. Yeah. That's and I look on my little car. I would never known if I wasn't driving the Fiat because I see mm. my Spotify, I see the song, and I see the name of the artist, and I thought <gasps> Callum Scott. Oh no. I love the fact that you thought he was from Love Island. He's also the nicest guy I've ever met. And he was performing that night as well, yeah. which was even better. He performed that night and you thought he was from Love Island. I just don't, nothing wrong against Love Island, but like, he's got talent. <laughs> no, as in like, he's, you know, he's famous for being a singer. He's a singer. I'm a reality star, so I mean, what can I... I know, but he's a singer. Right? I know, honey. Get out of here. I don't know it. Oh, God. Lots of things happened at the Pride of Britain Awards, what actually. Other thing? Well, the other thing is when we left uh, the Pride of Britain Awards. So I, I, I've never seen you laugh so much in your entire <laughs> life. We leave the Pride of Britain Awards and there's these photographers or paparazzi taking photos of us. There's Paps, honey, you just say it. And there's Paps, honey. And uh, someone runs up to me with a big picture of me. Um, they, a big... they printed, they had a... A, a portrait of Jamie and they were like Jamie, Jamie sign it I Sophie just started laughing in their face crying <laughs> I was like that's you they have you've got a photo of him I couldn't 
<laughs> get my head around it. Like, one thing asking for your trough blew me off as well. But the photo, like, the dedication. Also, you, like, day one of Maiden Chelsea looking 10 out of 10. Like, she hadn't seen you for a while and she was like, fuck, he's aged. No, but seriously, that was wild. I, I've not aged that much since the beginning of Maiden Chelsea. No, mm-mm. Aged backwards. <laughs> Oh my god! You haven't actually aged backwards. How many compliments did you get that night that you looked the best you've ever looked? Okay, but in the guess f- why, guys? Why no Botox? Oh my god! Honestly, no Botox. I don't I, do Botox. I'll explain what happens if you get too much Botox. Your eyebrows droop <laughs> like you're a Roman. <laughs> And you've got this heavy, heavy forehead, and Jamie looks weird because he's just like, there's no movement. I don't have it's Botox. too tight. And I said, please, please, just let it wear off. And you got complimented by everyone because you look human now. Okay, well, can we just please, just, can you do down oh the camera? Oh my gosh, you did get Botox. I didn't say. look. It's true, maybe. Can not. you can you please do down the camera when you got Botox in your cheeks when I first met you and it meant you couldn't smile so what did your smile look like when you had Botox in your face that you then removed uh, and I didn't know it was for it's so long so good. I just couldn't smile did it again what is it <laughs> the worst thing is I had no idea because obviously you don't go in the mirror and be like so I was just yeah, naturally was you can't tell it was only when I smiled it frozen my smile all right do you want to kick off the episode Let's kick it off. Why don't you kick it off, honey? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, boys and girls. We are starting Newlyweds. Is that before the intro? Is that we're in now? We're in. Okay, hello, everybody. Welcome back to... They hear it every week. It just makes it up. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Newlyweds. I am Sophie Habu. Uh, And I'm Jamie Lang. Um, This is episode 12 of the new series. I feel like it's going well. Hey, lots of things have happened, by the way. We took a little holiday away. We went to, uh, we went on a holiday, guys, and um, we had the loveliest time. We went to Dubai. It was fantastic, and a lot of things happened in Dubai. Did you enjoy the trip? I love Dubai. As in, I don't love the place, if I'm totally honest. That bad thing, so. But you like the hotel? I love, like, our trip. Yeah, it wasn't the greatest trip we ever had. It was, well, not the greatest we've ever had. It was up there with the greatest. It might have been the greatest, actually. We watched also the David Beckham documentary. Now, Sophie is obsessed with David Beckham. But obsessed with young David Beckham and not just because I like him blonde. I'm just obsessed with that tan and that blonde. Wow. What do you like about him? His face and his body and his hair and his hands. You're just totally obsessed with him in that way. He's just like fit. He was fit. He kissed, he knuckle rubbed the grass, then kissed his hand, and that was just it for me. What do you mean, knuckle rubbed the ground? Yeah, but that's what, as a a footballer, like celebrating. No, he went like to Victoria (laughs) on his ring, and it was unbelievable. I just can't get over that you've never realized how sexy David Beckham was. See, this just shows my age. I only know David Beckham as David Beckham now with like his, what he looks like now. Don't get me wrong, an incredibly attractive man. So I've never thought twice when everyone's like, David Beckham is the fittest man ever. But I've sort of been like, just not my vibe. Mm. And then I look when he was younger and I'm like, that is my vibe. Well, so he looks nothing like me. Yeah, but I don't have a taste. A you, type. you definitely have a taste. I don't have a type. <laughs> you do. Bradley Cooper, Matthew McConaughey, David Beckham, they, nothing in common. Blonde, bingo. So there there's nothing. Those, so uh, you they, keep dying that hair, sweet cheeks. They're, they're all not really blonde, but you do definitely have a type. Not at all. Yes, honey, you not do. Not at all. Tanned and blonde. I think you take those boxes. You like tanned blonde, pretty boys. Yeah. Ding 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 ding. So out of those ones, who are you more obsessed with? Because honestly, so I, I, the thing I couldn't get after is when we watched the documentary, a four-part documentary of David Beckham, and it was phenomenal. It was, Phen- uh, it was, it was so oh, good. But so cross when he kicked that guy, wasn't I? I got so into the football. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't believe my eyes. But then even more cross at Dan Neville, whatever the guy is, who like <laughs> the captain who slagged him off. Like, what was that about? That's Glenn Hoddle. <laughs> Uh, also for it, but Glenn Hoddle, no. Yeah. Take it down a notch. He had a vendetta against David for sure. Okay, he did. Yeah. He, my, was, he really, he was jealous of David 100%. Is that what he was? Yeah. My favourite thing about the whole thing was the fact that, I, like you said, we watched this four-part documentary and at the end of it, the, the thing that you took out of it that you were most annoyed is that David Beckham isn't blonde anymore. I just don't get it. 
Like he's still young. <laughs> Dye your hair. It looks so good. It's like me dyeing my hair white. I don't think it'd look good as this color. So why would I do it? Why is he staying natural? Just get some. Mm. It was so good on him. Oh God, Dubai or, was great. Or shave yeah. his head and get that earring back in. When David, it cut to a shot. David Beckham had all this hair and then there was this like real like emotional moment. And it went, and, and then David Beckham changed and he came out and he had a shaved head. And honestly, I thought you were going to explode. I know, I was so upset. So he went, fucking hell. <laughs> like, oh, I, was, looking, I fancied it. I didn't like the mohawk though. No, you like the shaved head. You honestly oh, looked yeah. at the screen and went, Fucking hell. No, but I'm shocked. <laughs> All these years, I've never got it. I'm going to put it out there. I've always been like, what the fuck? Like, he's the sexiest man in life. I don't think so. Now I see it. You, you, I, but I couldn't get over no, the fact. He's he's genuinely so sexy. But you're, you're sitting with your husband. No, but you are so sexy. Okay, thanks, honey. But you're sitting with your husband in bed. David oh, Beckham yeah, with a yeah, shaved yeah, head yeah. comes on screen. You go, fucking hell, at the screen. I couldn't get my eyes over. I've never seen him young. <laughs> I get riled up talking about it. I've just never seen it. I never saw it. I never saw I never saw him. Oh my God, how he trains. And he wears his... <laughs> He wore his uniform. I'm getting too passionate. You're good dribbling. He You're wears... heading like saliva in your uh, mouth. That's fine. He wears... I've got no chance of him. I've got saliva in my mouth. You're also <laughs> married. I don't understand. There's that no was chance. A joke. He wears his uniform in yeah. a very cool way. Like he wore his top. I need to stop. What do you mean he wore it in a cool he way? He just did. He just had swag. Swag? <laughs> what? What is swag? Swag is word, right? <laughs> I think it is like a Gen Z word. Very Gen Z. What the fuck? Swag isn't like oh that... swag is like clothes, isn't it? No, swag is like he's got swag. He walks with a swag way. Yeah, well, we like swag David. is not clothes. That's threads. Okay, all right. I think swag is clothes. No, it isn't. All you're right. so millennial. You're so a booper. I'm not a booper. Yeah, you are. And I'm a millennial. No, I'm a millennial. No, I'm a millennial as well. Okay, booper. I've started like flossing my teeth with that flossing stuff, right? Well, thank God. And, and there was, and in my front top tooth, there was what I can only describe as like a little bit of red, a little bit of red, a little that bit of red. plastic. I just don't know. It was, it was. But it was. were you eating like a baby bell and ripping off the plastic? There was a little bit of red plastic <clears throat> stuck in my front two teeth there that I couldn't get out. And I was like, this is a nightmare. And I had to go for a filming session afterwards. So, <laughs> so what I got is, I do <laughs> I don't even know if those little flossing yeah, things. Yeah, like the little tooth f- bo- bog flushes. It, it's like a little tooth thing. It has a little like furry end and you can shove it into your tooth like that. Don't and- do that actually with your mouth, please. <laughs> you can shove it into your teeth <laughs> and it's like spiky and you can floss it. Like- oh, please stop doing that. <laughs> you can floss it like that. Anyway, to get this bit of red plastic out of my tooth, I don't know what happened, but I got this little tooth flossing thing and I shoved it. <laughs> I shoved it real deep into my teeth and couldn't, <laughs> couldn't get it out. So I had the green like plastic bit at the end just hanging out. It was, and then... it was just the, the flossing handle. Stop. It's the flossing handle stuck <laughs> coming out of my mouth. And I was like, what the hell? I, do? I had to go for a really important meeting. And I was trying to put it out. So I thought I was just going to have to cut it. <laughs> I thought, I, I, thought I was going to... ridiculous. I, so if I swear to you, it was so in that my two bright teeth had been pried apart. <laughs> It acted as a crowbar. <laughs> it was the most painful thing. And you went home and I was really freaking out. So I was like, what do I do here? So I went to the mirror and I grabbed her. <laughs> I went to the mirror. It's like pulling it's like pulling out a tooth. I went to the mirror. One, two, three. <laughs> I thought it so hard. Blood went on. No, my it's not nice. It's really not nice. Oh my god! Your teeth are tight. 
Oh, honestly, it opened up my teeth. It was the most painful thing that's ever the happened. You like a little hole at the top that you shine Oh, through. I do have a little hole at the top. Oh, oh God. What else happened in Dubai? Um, I had one of the worst ravens mass... Ravens everywhere. What? Everywhere? Ravens everywhere. <laughs> those flies, big ravens. <laughs> those flies? Oh, those birds. Whoa. Those birds everywhere. Ravens. They were raven claws everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Harry Potter. No, but guys, seriously. They're you, not ravens. The, the best part about being on holiday is that you can eat on the sunbed, right? You eat your lunch. Yeah. I don't really want it in the back. But we got also these like big, big beds. I like to like cozy up and then eat my lunch. Yeah. Oh no, not allowed any food by the pool. Sorry, I'm hungry between lunch and dinner and breakfast and lunch. No snacks, not even an apple can come near you because the bloody ravens the size of my whole body literally landed on your head. So much so that they have a falcon and an owl cruising around like show and tell that you get to hold to scare off the ravens. Let me tell you, those ravens are not scared. Do you remember that? Yeah, I do remember that. And then I snuck down from the bedroom some nuts from the minibar, <laughs> left a couple nut trails out while I went to the sea, came back, there was 14 ravens on my bed. I was like, oh my God, I'm done. Oh, I had one of the worst massages I have ever had. Oh, didn't hear the end of it. Yeah, but I was furious. So That is fast wild sport brat problems okay. if I've ever heard them. But it did cheer me up because then you told me about a massage that you had once. What yeah. was the massage that you had that was really terrible? It was by at-home massage so you can come to your house. So you don't know what you're signing up for. He got out a wooden spoon and started rubbing it on my body. And I was like, hello? As a massage? As a massage. I told you this. I actually oh. did complain to the people because I found it actually really disturbing. It I made me so... He pulled up a chair first. He didn't move past my feet. I was like, this is a full <laughs> body. And he spent a whole hour sat on a chair rubbing he didn't bring a massage bed either so I just lay on our bed with my feet hanging off and he just rubbed my feet with the thing and then with a wooden spoon with a wooden spoon I was so so disturbed by it I thought he had like a foot fetish or something so I did complain and, and I got a free one and then I I continue working with the, well using this company yeah. and then another time they came to my house and I thought he was dropping hot wax on my back or like hot oil and I was like no, it was his sweat because when I finished the mask, it kept dripping when his both his hands were on me. And I was like, you know, you're aware. I was like, it doesn't feel oily. It was like hot. And I was like, both his hands are on me. How is he squeezing the oil? And then when he finished the massage, bless him though, he was just hot. And you know, I keep the heating on a lot. And so it kind of was my fault. But we finished massage and he literally had, his whole face was just beads, like pouring down him. On you. And he has obviously been like bent over me and I could hear it drip, drip, drop, little April cool showers. Speaking of sweat, I've been running in my headphones. No, just no. It's the worst amount I've ever smelled in my life. So we had the Apple headphones, they're over ear headphones, the noise cancelling ones, they're big, they cover your whole ears. And I've been running in them, you're not meant to run in them. What do they now smell of? Well, you told me they smell of semen, but it's like semen on steroids. Like it's it's almost like you've dived into a pool of chlorine, but worse than chlorine, like semen chlorine. I don't know if semen's meant to smell like chlorine, but I always think it does. It smells like emodium, like bleach. Semen does? Yeah, is that not a thing? I don't think it smells like bleach. I think it has like a bleachy smell to it. So for enough of that, because we have two very special guests about to come on the podcast. Oh, hit me. Oh, you know who it is. Ah, uh, he knows. Oh, you know, baby. Um, oh, I know. And uh, they were a guest. They were the first guests ever on this podcast. Were they actually? They were the first guests ever. Oh, yeah, but not the first podcast. They are now coming back on... Here they are. Okay, well, we're going to go and get our guests now. You've probably seen by the title of the podcast, we have back on Newlyweds... Michael and Hillary... The White one and only White Halls. The White Halls. That wasn't. So please welcome for a very special episode to give us advice on weddings, gr being grandparents, being parents, newlyweds. Um, and not newlyweds, they're oldlyweds, as in they've been married for an old time. Yeah, okay. And also they're going to be reading some uh, listeners' messages. Please welcome to the podcast, The, the White Halls. White Halls, welcome to the podcast. <gasps> We're Thank back. You. Uh, Michael, um, you're a little bit disappointed because there's no fee, isn't that right? Well, oh. no fee, no me has been around the podcast world for the last couple of years. What do you mean the podcast and world? this one seems to have slipped 
through the net. <laughs> you told me in the cab when we got here. I did. I said, what's the fee? And you said, oh, there isn't one. I and, said, and I said to the cab show. driver, turn around and <laughs> Back to Putney, and then he said, "Well, I've got another fare." And I said, oh, "All right, forget it. I'll do it." <laughs> the best thing about this one, though, is that we recorded last time because bet you guys don't know this. You were our first guests oh, ever yes. in that stunningly yeah. hot yes. studio yes. that we made you sit in. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And Come, Michael, you had to travel, and Harry had to travel about two hours to get to the studio. Terrible traffic. Yes. And then this is a lot easier. It was easier. a long a way. Lot and then we spent another hour while you tried to get a cab <laughs> for me outside. And you just stood there while I, I was stood, really flustered. And you were running up the road <laughs> and then running back. And then, and then you went up a side road and came back. So I've got a cab now. And then he drove past us and, and I said, he hasn't stopped. He said, oh, I'm going to go. So it was a long, you know, it was a three or four hour gig, really. And you weren't paid for that one either? No, nothing no, at all, no. not a penny. No. Oh, well, you did pay it for the cab. Did no, you didn't. I didn't pay for the no, cab. because you got us the cab. Yeah. But then obviously we had to pay the cab. Run. You paid for the that cab as well. So it was an expensive run. I yeah. But, but here we are again. We're, we're like sort of boxers <laughs> going into a boxing ring and getting hit in the face again. You know. <laughs> Quite um, extreme. Hillary, but before we start, yeah, go. Oh. I've got a wedding present here. <gasps> oh wow! I want oh to my. just hand this over. What? Hang so on. this is yours. There we go. I feel a bit embarrassed. Now, I have to say, I suddenly realised this morning I had a PT session early uh -huh. and I thought, oh, I never got them a wedding present. And so I went off to Oliver Bonus in Putney. Yeah. And it was just, obviously it hadn't opened, but there was somebody in there. So, so I knocked this on the door. Oh, it's the receipts in Ooh, there. The bell's in there. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Michael, what, Michael, what do you think it is? I just I want to say, so no idea. I knocked <laughs> on the door and um, Becca... <laughs> who yeah. was working there. She said, can I help you? I said, yes, I need an emergency wedding present. And she went, we're not open. I said, sorry, I'm doing newlyweds this morning with Jamie Lang and Sophie Habu. I need a wedding present. <laughs> get out she of said, here. come in. Get out of here. They so said that. So she opened the shop for me to get your wedding present. Oh, hello. Is it some sort of garment of what? some sort? No. Mike, if you had to guess what it is, a wedding present, what do you think it would be? Not a clue. Not, Not a, clue. a clue. I mean, it doesn't engage um, on things, such things. It's, maybe it's my an, work. Well, you've uh, you've got an invoice there, which is good news. It's on the floor. I right? may have to take that back. Okay. Some sort of ornament. Of some sort. I think you Hilary, might. Hilary, this is so Hilary, kind. This is, no, this is a fave of mine. I've given one to all I, of my I children. I really haven't oh seen this. Goodness. It's called. Oh a my god, that's a amazing. Gluggle jug. So when you pour, it's also a talking point. When you pour the water out. And then you tip it up again, it goes... Oh it's very gosh, sweet. That the is so jug. kind. Very tasteful, the, the grey. That is love fantastic. It. That is, is the price Happy wedding. still on underneath? It looks like a... The price is not on. No, that good. That is no, so I just, kind I just saw of you. A I think there's a card in there with Mr Whitehall's oh, yes. beautiful calligraphy. Would you like right. to um, read my card yeah, hold to on your... Second. Here we go. I mean, bearing in mind, I didn't supervise the writing of this card, so I'm sorry for what he's put in it. My so best here we Italian go. handwriting. Yeah. Um, okay, it's we're going to. Very Michael Whitehall it's done type this card. This morning. Here Here's we go. To the beautiful couple. So, did you pick the card? Oh, sorry, unbelievable writing. I did. So, can I just show this to the camera? Th this is um, Michael Whitehall's writing that is done in. It looks like it's sort of done in another century. That's <laughs> unbelievable. No, it was done about an hour ago. <laughs> That's um, really unbelievable. It looks like it has a selection I, of pens. I write sort I like of a a, like an italic script. Yeah. Okay, and we're going to read write it with ink too, yeah. rather than. Bars. Sorry about this, Sophie. Jamie right. and Sophie, assuming you're still together, a belated <laughs> congratulations and good wishes for a long and happy and productive marriage. Ooh, Hillary productive. and Michael, with a love. Part, coloured in in pink sweetness. Yeah. I'm going to keep that forever. Maybe oh, I'm going to the jug. Do you notice? That is that so, is yes. so we, gorgeous. We feel slightly embarrassed. No, Jamie, I feel very embarrassed. Okay. But you should feel more embarrassed, Jamie. So you came on the podcast last time. Yeah. Uh, it was very much before our wedding. Yeah. And we made it very clear that you guys were going to come to the wedding. So yeah, there was a lot of talk about that. <laughs> was it your first? No, it wasn't their first podcast. No, it wasn't. It's it was our, our first this podcast. This is our first podcast together. Early yeah. on yeah. in the run. And you said, Michael, that you didn't typically like coming to weddings. No, which is true. But you would make an excuse <laughs> to come to our wedding. And then, Hillary, 
Could I just say, yeah. I think there was a little bit more input from me at this point because mm. he said, no way. And I said, don't be ridiculous. Your granddaughter is potentially going to be flower girl. Yeah. You're going. Yeah. In fact, that slightly changed, didn't it? Because she was your flower girl in London, wasn't yeah, she? Yeah, she was. Yes. yes, she was a little bit young to travel with her father on her own because, of course, Molly couldn't come in the end. Because she was pregnant. We didn't know. I, I don't think you knew that at the time, did, did you? We had you no know? idea. We knew, but you didn't because, <gasps> oh, of course, we, we were no sworn idea. to secrecy. Yeah. We had spoken about this wedding and then it came round to uh, doing the wedding invites. And honestly, in my head, I'm going to give myself an excuse here. I honestly didn't think that you guys wanted to come. This I was is, desperate to come. This is what I, like, honestly, I didn't think you wanted to come. And then I find out that you actually did want to come. And so it looked like we hadn't invited you. I don't think Michael did really want to come. I mean, Michael was on <laughs> the no, strictest instructions. I think Sophie is on a better line than, than yours. There. I think we're giving us a like, I would have come credit. because Hillary was so keen to come. Yeah. But <sighs> when I was told that we hadn't been invited, yeah. there was a little element of kind of... I think the F yes. word came out. Didn't it? Um, oh, no, sorry. No, I mean... I, well, but I, I would have come to support Hillary, yeah. which I have spent my entire life doing. I whinged um, a lot to Molly and Toby did. and said, look, Molly, you're you not did. going. I don't understand why. I mean, I could be Toby's, you know... Uh, other half plus Who, one. We would have loved you there. Loved. I know, yeah. but no, it wasn't forthcoming. So I thought I'm not pushing myself in where I'm not wanted. Thank you very this much. Is so bad. We you want, are that's in. Not I, my, honestly, yeah. you are a bad, bad person. I did then everything I, in that wedding, and I just I messed up. Oh, no, I, okay. no, I, I even I said that. at one point we didn't even make the Chelsea wedding. Didn't even make that cut. <laughs> I mean, Michael would definitely have come to that. Because I think lunch was involved, wasn't it? Yes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> a but lot no, of wine. didn't even get that one. <laughs> okay, well, listen, um, this is us to say sorry. So, Michael, because you didn't come to our wedding, you come on the podcast and this is us to say sorry with the uh, Wittering White Horse. Yes. Your amazing oh, yes, podcast. We haven't even mentioned the We've podcast. We've got to mention yes, the podcast that have. you guys have. Yeah. And to anyone who's listening now, go and listen to it straight after this because it's, it's just genius. fab. Because also you can email in with you your problems. I know. The Wittering White Tools at gmail.com and we will endeavour to answer your queries. And Michael, you read every single one when it comes in, don't you? Of course. Yeah. Yes, I mean, that, <laughs> that, that sort of my job is just to sit at the coalface sit and, and read sometimes a thousand <laughs> emails in a day I can do and pick the ones that are good. And, yeah. yeah. And then obviously we have a chat with the people who've sent them to make sure, you know. So you know happy. the drill, right? You know so, the drill. Yeah. It's a full-time job, really. It, she just it. flutters Who? around and yes. makes witty and funny remarks to everybody and I just down there Do the in the coal the heavy face lifting. and then she goes Michael you coming up now <laughs> and then I've come up the stairs and oh, probably a bit breathless and put down the ones that I think you know we can use okay so That's you know the, the deal. so so our producer Jack has got us some um some listeners' messages as well. Now, I haven't read these. I don't, so even I don't know so them. So you don't do sit and sifting. He what? does the sit and sifting. Producer Jack yeah. does this. Producer yeah. Jack. And yeah. um, so we don't know how rude they're going to be. So if they're rude, forgive us. Yeah. But before we go into that, I have one last question. Is yeah. you are newly, well, not you already grabbed, but your grandparents for the third time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Elsie. Yes, it's Elsie. 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 Mm. Yes. Have you changed, Michael, I want to, have you changed a nappy yet? <laughs> No. <laughs> Didn't change a nappy first no. time. No, he did. You I never mean, changed it. Have no, you changed a nappy? No, no, I did. He my did. own yeah, children. Yeah. yeah, but not your grandchildren. Jack used to shit for Britain. <laughs> I promise you he did. Those nappies. Oh, they were toxic. When I was pregnant with to, Molly and we had, had to morning sickness, I used to... tape them on. Yeah. They, they you did were... No, you didn't. No, no, you would you shit did. all into the nappy, then pull it off, and yes. it would all go when all over. When he was a toddler, he used to take like it off. like that Bird Island place yes. all over our floor. All over the cot. Um, the You're morning. lying. I promise you that is true. And then in the end, I used to get Hillary sellotape. used to sellotape, sellotape them him on in. so that he it wouldn't get them come off. out and go all over the floor everywhere. The cot. It was all over uh, the cot. Yes. Yeah, oh over the cot. God. When Sorry. I was pregnant with Molly and I had yeah. terrible morning sickness, I used to say to Michael, I, I can smell it from here. I can't go in that room and deal with that <laughs> nappy because I will vomit. You're going to have to go and deal with it. So I you'd used have to go, go with a pair of scissors and a mask, usually, I went in. And then he would have to deal with it. I often put on your scooter helmet <laughs> to go in there. It was like, you know, that, um, that Russian thing, you know. 
Um, Chernobyl. 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 I go in there, I put the helmet Chernobyl. on, I go in and wander and then pick up the nappy. Use the scissors to get it off as well. Or, <laughs> oh, no. Jack, like no. Chernobyl. <laughs> All right, okay, we're going to do our listeners' message now. Producer Jack, do you have some listeners' messages for us? I'm I'm a bit nervous how rude these are because some of our messages... I, there's quite a lot of scatological stuff still, isn't there, as well? Oh, my Lord, there's a lot. Well, you've you that's your fault. I met my now ex-girlfriend in the beautiful ski resort of Morzine. Morzine. Oh, oh, lovely. Whilst both on a winter season. As you know, at the beginning of a relationship... There's a lot, it says a lot, in capitals, of sex. <laughs> in some pretty amazing places. Well, I would have thought it was only one place for them to have sex in, but maybe we're going to get some more let's, detail let's about this. Let's not fall down into that just at the no. moment. <laughs> OK. Um, in some pretty amazing places, aside from the standard... Breaking the headboard. Ah, oh, we've got a comedian here. Oh, God. One evening, after a wild night out, copious amounts of Jaeger bombs and a few other things included, we arrived home incredibly lustfully. Oh. Full stop. <laughs> Slightly odd English for the... Would you like me to read that bit I'm again? They arrived home incredibly <laughs> lustfully, full stop. In her randy mindset, come on, we never get emails like this on our podcast. Oh, I don't think the I can handle it. Which we like to very We don't get yes. this kind of racy. Yes. <laughs> what um, do I do? My greenhouse has fallen yes, down. That's exactly. the sort of thing we get. Um. In her randy mindset, my partner suggested that we walk into the forest behind her chalet. Well, they were in separate chalets. Well, they, they were working during oh, right. the ski season. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Behind her chalet and get down to it, looking over the view of our stunning town. That's lovely. Okay. That's, yeah. nice. That's, yeah. nice. that's, that's nice. That's all right. That's nice. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. In our excitement of what we were about to do, we completely forgot that it was wild boar birthing season. Oh, my God. <laughs> and had been warned before that they are incredibly defensive animals. <laughs> You'll have to move yeah, on. I will, um, I will. Okay. It's like so amazing off. David Attenborough. Yeah, down the bottom. <laughs> yes, hang on. Oh, my God. Uh, animals. God. Oh, it's very it's long. Very. We never <laughs> yeah. have them this long. No. Either. After finding a suitable felled tree trunk, okay. as one does, <laughs> at perfect height for the obvious oh, to match up, we get down to it. It was biblical. Oh. 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 A slightly religious touch to this email now. We were really going for it. <laughs> Due to this, we had clearly disturbed the local wildlife, <laughs> ignoring the rustling in the foliage. No, that's not a euphemism. <laughs> we continued until we started to notice very large flashes running around, clearly very upset with our presence. God, it's a long email. Do you want me to? It's like on, a I'm small gonna... book. <laughs> yeah. oh, once it dawned on me exactly what was making these noises, admittedly, all chivalry went out of the window. It doesn't sound like there's been much chivalry anyway. <laughs> Leaving all women and children behind, I proceeded to run at a rapid rate down the very steep hill towards the house, boxers and trousers still around my ankles and still erect member <laughs> swaying in the wind with such, with each waddled step. He's quite wordy. Can I just say, man. one minute he's running and then he's waddling. He's, yeah, he's, he's waddling. Got, yeah. Oh my God. After realising my concern <sighs> for my new love that I had left, 
to fend for herself, I stopped to look back to see her running towards me, beautiful bare bum jiggling away. As she got to me, we looked back to the tree line only to see white eyes reflecting back at her back at us in a uniform line. <gasps> After a few seconds, they disappeared back into the trees. Clearly, I had been doing a good job before all the commotion as my partner wanted to find a new spot and continue. Good girl. Unfortunately, due to the fact that we had almost been mauled to death by a pack of wild animals, the little guy wasn't having any of it. <gasps> This led to an embarrassing walk back to the chalet where I had to contemplate my manhood, masculinity and defensive abilities. Thankfully, our relationship continued and lasted for four beautiful years. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah. Our very early sex situation post-marriage was I not can't great. Wait. I can't wait. Because if you remember, Michael, you had a hernia. Do you remember? Beg your pardon. Do you remember you had a hernia just after we got uh, married? Yes, and this, I you did. literally got mocked and by all your friends. And of course, everybody, oh, Michael, oh, well, Michael Weiss has got a hernia. Well, have you seen his new wife? Oh, oh, oh. No, I mean, it was bloody painful, too. <laughs> Well, I, I yeah. remember the moaning yeah. and groaning that <laughs> went on, terrible. and it wasn't for good anyway, reasons. Anyway, it was a huge joke to everybody. It was a huge joke, and it got misdiagnosed too. So for it months, it, he nearly ended up with back surgery. No. no. Yes, yeah. because it got misdiagnosed. I and went it, to the doctor, and uh, I said, and then he pain. said, yeah, pain. And then he said, well, of course, you've got a new young wife. Oh, <laughs> 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 I'm a little bit alarmed because it says here Toby, and I'm thinking, is this my son-in-law? It's, I, don't, I don't think Wilkinson would have sent something in. Let's hope not. I hope she should. Well, let's see what it says. Here we go. Seeing as you seem to like the wrong words in sex messages, oh, I've God. got an excellent one for you. We had uh, people like writing in when they, like when they have sex, they say the wrong things because they're flustered. Yes. So instead of trying to talk dirty, you say something dirty, but you say the wrong thing at the wrong time. Okay. And this has been a frequent message. Give in, them an example. I can't give an example. It's too rude. I no, can't. come on, I need an example. Oh. Come on, Jamie. I, don't, I can't. I, I can't. So you're going to... I can't. I, I can't. <laughs> I can't. I don't, I, I can't. Be a man. I don't think Be I can do it. Be a man. I don't think I can do it. I can't. I can't. Read this and we'll find out and then I'll give you okay. one afterwards. I can't. Well, there may be an example in here. There's going to be an example yes, in there, I'm sure. Exactly. I was seeing this girl. It was about six months in and things were going super well. And in the bedroom, we, of course, wanted to steam it all up. Mm. So we started talking dirty. Now, I'm not the most vocal, but was saying the standard, do you like that? Good girl, bad girl sort of stuff. And then thought I'd take it to the next level. Now, this is certainly influenced by porn, but I thought it would be hot to tell her to call me daddy. Oh, Michael. This backfired massively, as in the moment, as the words left my lips, instead of saying daddy, I whispered in her ear, Call me Simon, <laughs> the name of my actual dad. <laughs> that she is looked so good. Me, she looked at me totally confused and shocked. Oh, I panicked and tried to carry on, which made things worse. I ended up apologising and having to explain the cock up, literally, or in this case, the cock down. We laugh about it now. She never has called me daddy. And Simon has never found out. That is Until so now. good. <laughs> yeah. Imagine leaning in with call me Simon. <laughs> call me Simon. <laughs> Awful. Okay, do we have yeah. one more producer Jack? Here we go. So, Michael, why don't you read the uh, last one? Here we go. A good five so, years ago. So, just to ago. say, Michael, before you start, yeah. strap in is all I'm going to say. Strap in. Because we've got the tone of these emails now. Yeah. What is a... Why do people say a good five years ago? <laughs> Why don't you just say five years ago? <laughs> what does a good help that sentence? Do you have it's, any idea? It's honestly yes. just so good. What I yeah. love is that all he's concerned about is the grammar. <laughs> it's, but it just makes it so much good. better. I mean, it makes it so much better. On the Whittering I'll read out an email and he will pick out the most <laughs> irrelevant detail about it. And I go, 
Sorry, that's what you've taken out of that email, is it? So irrelevant. The colour of the man's shoes, not the fact that he stole, you know, somebody's car. It's so irrelevant. Okay, here we go. A good five years ago. <sighs> A good five years ago, I got my... Th- I got my thinking hat on. <laughs> why, why, why not just put five years ago? I thought of something. No, you have to put on your thinking hat. What the fuck is a thinking hat? What does it mean? It's a thinking You've cap. You've got a hat if or a cap, and you put. Oh, I'm having a good think at the moment. I put my thinking hat or hat on. The expression is also a thinking cat, <laughs> not a thinking hat. <laughs> what the fuck is a thinking cat? Right. Um, a good five years ago, I got my thinking hat on and thought of something I thought would be sexy. There's a lot of thinking. <laughs> yeah, a lot of thoughts, too, going on. There's the thinking hat, he thought, and then he thought and again. Then he thought again. <laughs> <laughs> I thought would be sexy. It was not. My ex-partner was in hospital after his tonsils being removed and then hemorrhaging. Oh, God. Oh, God. I saw the pos- positive in this mm-hmm. and thought sleepover in the hospital, cute and kinky. <laughs> No. Very weird. Is this a man or a woman? I think. So in I went that evening. I set up a bed with the chairs dotted around the room and we got cosy. I then somehow ended up on his hospital bed and one thing led to another and the oh, deed God. was being done. <gasps> okay. They're obviously in a very big room too. <laughs> Without thinking, when you are in hospital, you are hooked up, aren't you, to a heart rate monitor. Next thing you know, four nurses come running in. Oh, my God. There I am riding him like a bloody bucking bronco. (laughs) They left the room after seeing he clearly was not in any urge. And ten minutes later, came back in and asked me to leave. There's a bit more. Yep. Can you move that on? Oh, no, it's nearly over. <laughs> <laughs> they left the room after seeing he clearly was not in any urgency. And ten minutes later, came back in and asked me to leave. The hospital prosy packed up and headed out. I love it. I do want to know this as well. So we, the last time we saw each other was at Barney, your son's wedding. Yes. And this is, I mean, pretty much apart from Jack, the last child to get married, pretty much. Do you have one more to go? How does that make you feel? Well, I have actually worn the dress that I wore to um, Barney's London wedding today. I'm in a sort of wedding mode. And I've worn this cardigan because this was almost one of the first things that Michael ever bought me. It's a cashmere cardigan. (laughs) 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 When did I buy that (laughs) for you? Nearly 40 years ago. Oh, Burlington I, Arcade, no I less. I spent a lot of money You on did. That, this, yeah, it's gone it very was, downhill, um, so and since and then, let me tell you. Yes, I know, look. And it's a fortune. It's double ply. But it was very early. So I thought I'd just, early you know, days, wedding it? goals, <laughs> just saying, wedding goals. Yeah, yeah, he was trying to impress me. Oh, no. <laughs> was he really? Yeah. Is that how you wooed Hillary? Yeah, By buying her a cardigan? Cashmere. <laughs> cashmere cardigan from cashmere Burlington Arcade. Cashmere and chocolates, I think. Godiva chocolates. Yeah, yeah. Godiva oh. chocolates. Oh. Get combo. An, have you an got an cashmere? cashmere? No, cashmere. For, you have never bought me an item of clothing in my life. <gasps> It's Jamie Lang. It's impossible yeah. to buy presents. This is what I, I, I don't know what to do with presents. We got Sophie's birthday coming up. We do um, cashmere. Just saying, cashmere and Godiva. I, Michael, what was the last thing that you bought Hillary as a present? Uh, that probably cardigan. something like a kettle. <laughs> was that book about the um, Second World War? I bought you. <laughs> um, yeah, which I don't just slightly. I, I slightly fucked up, to be honest, because I was going to give her a book, yeah. but it was a book that I actually wanted. 
And so I gave her this book about the Second World War, but it was volume two of it, and I gave her the book. Yeah. And then she said, is that any connection with the book in that shelf there, <laughs> which is volume one? And I said, oh, well, you know, sort of. I mean, not particularly. And she said, so you're, you've given me the second volume of a book that you already have in your bookshelf as a present. And I said, well, I just thought you'd like to catch up with the Second World War. And she said, but but it starts in the middle of the book you give me. The only way of catching up is starting with your book. The whole thing was, was a nightmare. Yes. And you, you, you weren't I wasn't pleased. Really grateful. No. I've never given her a book since. It's no. not, not worth I, it. And also, you never read. I don't. I'm not a great reader. The last book you gave me before the World War II book was Lady Glencommer's. Yes. Lady Glencommer? Yeah, Connor. her memoirs. I her thought memoir. you'd like that about a very posh lady's <laughs> I would, memoirs. But, but, but on, a, on an audio book would do me fine. But I, yeah. but I find it. I, what I find. How long have you guys been married for again? How many years is it now? Thirty-seven. <gasps> Thirty-seven That's years. Unbelievable. Seven. Yeah, we've been together for nearly forty years. How old were you when we got married? Very young. <laughs> I was twenty. How old was I? Twenty-four. About to be. And I was. Forty-five. 46. We were 46th birthday. We got married on his 46th birthday. Imagine if you had a 25 year old daughter, beautiful, and she came back with a man who was, how old? You were 21 years older than me. So you were 46. And And not only that, this old 46 year old (laughs) came into the room. I went to see her mother. Can I just say, my mother, it didn't go well because I said to my mother, I'm going out with someone who's a little bit older than me. And she went, right. How did you pitch that, Hillary, quickly? So did you say, I'm just... I I just had to, because we were... I said, you're going to have to meet him because we've been going out for quite a while. We've been going out for a few months by then. Mm -hmm. So I said... We were also living together too, weren't we? Yeah. (laughs) So that was uh, so kind that was of quite tricky relevant, in those like, days. Um, your mother coming to the house and saying, yeah. "Who's that man?" <laughs> there? Oh, I don't know. Hello. Um, but I reckon, Michael, you've been quite charming. I was. Well, he bought a cashmere and good yeah, Exactly. Yes, exactly. Was very he I was bought my mother to, chocolates. I bought your mother chocolates. That that. Again, didn't go well. I went into Godi- Godiva. The girl who I knew, because I gave quite a few people chocolates, not girlfriends, <laughs> I mean people, business people. Um, <laughs> Sorry, you gave and, business people chocolates? Well, at Christmas. And oh, things, nice. You know, yeah. Also, yeah. Godiva back then, uh-huh. yeah, just, you could was. only get them in London. It was like they were quite a rarity. Okay. You know, yeah. you, you didn't, and they were this very no. expensive it gave, chocolate. You know, if you gave a girl a Godiva box of Godiva chocolates, it meant you were a big dog. <laughs> really. Okay. All right. Got and it. That's what I was trying to do with you. And anyway, and, and, uh, yeah. so mother, we go to see the mother. mother. Mm. We're going to the have mother. lunch with the mother. <laughs> Very charming. And I'm looking, I go into the Godiva shop and they say, oh, Mr. White, so I said, I'd like you a box of your chocolates. And she said, what size would you like? And I said, well, I can, just remind me. She said, well, we've got the quarter pound box. Mm-hmm. And I said, right. And then we've got the half pound. And I said, Yes. And then we've got the pound box, which is that one. And she showed me each one. And then there's the two pound box. Mm. So that's the range. So I looked at the small one, thought that'll fit into the, you know, the briefcase and all that, nice and easy. No, maybe I shouldn't do that. It's a bit mean. Maybe, maybe the pound box. <laughs> and then I thought, I suppose I really ought to just put it out there. I said, how much is the two pound box? And she said, oh, well, it told me what it was, which was quite a lot of money. Mm-hmm. And I said, yeah, I'll go for that. I'll have the two pound box. Oh my she God. said, would you like me to gift wrap it and all that? And I said, that would be very nice. And put a bow <laughs> and put in a little box and a little thing. So I waited quite a long time. Then I got it, mm-hmm. paid for it, got in the car, back. We head off down to wherever it was, where the mother lived. The mother lived. <laughs> with, <laughs> Dorothy. With the father. Dorothy. Is her name? The mother and the father. <laughs> Dorothy and what Bill. Was he Bill. <laughs> What's he called? Bill and Dorothy, who were very, very sweet couple. How's the Alzheimer's going? And very, very sweet Bill couple. Bill and Dorothy. And so we have the Sunday lunch. 
<laughs> and then we have the walk. And then... You got up a slightly then, blind alley with my father talking about the war. <laughs> yes, I did. I told him a story about when I was, you know, in the war and the my house I lived in was bombed and... Mm. He then got a bit Life confused in an Anderson about shelter. my age when he, I started talking about Anderson shells or some things. <laughs> anyway, it, it all went very well. And then I went back into the car to get the chocolates because I hadn't brought them in yeah. with me. I thought it was a bit naff. Mm. And I gave her this thing and she opened it and she said, oh, yo, how lovely, oh, what a big box. And I said, yes, they're Godiva chocolates, actually. She said, God, what? I said, Godiva? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, gave her the box. I could hardly carry the box. It was so heavy. <laughs> said goodbye. We had a slightly unfortunate departure too because... It was dark by then, and we were actually at my brother's, then brother's house, Mm. which had been owned by some disabled people before. So when you came out of the door, there was a ramp for the wheelchair Mm -hmm. rather than steps. Mm -hmm. So So I was feeling for the steps. I'd gone down to the XJS and was getting the car. Yeah, and he was Uh, shuffling. And I was sort of shuffling (laughs) because because I couldn't see where the steps were. (laughs) And I was shouting out, it's a ramp. Right, but he couldn't hear that. He thought I was saying it's a rap, which I is a thought she said term. it's a rap. Meaning like we've done, we've done it, it, we've we're done over, the meeting, we're finished. <laughs> we're finished. Get in the car. She the said music. it's a ramp. It's a ra- what she was saying was, it's, it's a, a ramp. ramp. <laughs> so you just walk straight down it. But no he steps. shuffled down. <laughs> Meanwhile, the, the mother and the, the father. Mother. We're looking out the of the window the oh to wave goodbye <laughs> to us up at the window. I was going down the ramp, turning, turning round waving. and waving to them. <laughs> and and also going, what are you saying? What, what? Are you, uh, what are you saying to Hillary? <laughs> so it was a great, ramp. It wasn't a great look for them from the window. The this shuffling, shuffling man. old man getting into the Jaguar XJS. <laughs> Getting Mrs. Whitehall in with me, this young child, and then <laughs> driving off. Child. Well, when child. we got home, Just slightly <laughs> unfortunate choice of word there. Yeah. Maybe so. I was not a child. I was at the time no, twenty-three. Sorry, twenty-three. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so we got home, and <laughs> and uh, I rang my mother. You said, oh. "I think I ought to ring Just check the in. mother." The mother, Dorothy. <laughs> Dorothy. <laughs> Uh, I think I better ring Mummy. I think you would have called her, uh, and just you know say thank you for the lovely lunch and yeah. the lovely day. So I was only getting one end of this conversation, obviously, because it was in the days, the old days you know, of the, the old in it. phone and <laughs> dialing uh-huh, and all uh-huh, that. Uh-huh. In fact, it might have even been one of those. Oh no, that was that was before. <laughs> The wall. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know those ones that you can't <laughs> pull out, it put there. that bit on. Like down to <laughs> <laughs> And he didn't really know who you were. Exactly. Whitehall 1322. So. Just Morse coding the parents. <laughs> <laughs> Semaphore. <laughs> Would you like, Mr. Carrie? Um, yes, we'd like to carry on. Yes, we'd love to. Like to. Um, so. You get on the phone I do. to your mother yeah. and I just hear the one angle. <laughs> so I hear her say, oh, hello, mummy. How are you? Yes. Oh, it was so lovely to see you. Oh, yes. And delicious lunch. Oh, delicious lunch. And the, you always do such lovely lunches. Oh, yes. Oh, and the house looked lovely. And Daddy, is Daddy there? Oh, yeah. Hello, Daddy. <laughs> hello, Daddy. Here I am, Hillary here. And a little bit more chatty chat. And then Hillary said, and what did you think of Michael? <laughs> Just so- yes, well, I said he... Yeah, I said he was older than me. <laughs> you, know, you didn't think it was that much older. No. Well, he he he, he was, but he, you thought he was sweet, didn't you? Did you th- like him? Reserving judgment. Oh, okay. Well, no, of course, you, you must oh. r- reserve judgment. I think that is absolutely fair. What do you mean you can't be bought? No, he just wanted to give you a big box of chocolates. 
And I thought, fuck, I should have given her the little one. And then it would have all been fine. Because I, my generosity, which knows no bounds, so went for good. the two pounds. Yeah. She uh, then says that she's being bought by me. She was not. Yeah, she, she, said, I don't, she said, I saw through that gesture. Oh, oh yes. my God. God. I love I yeah. think. I how think many how many key. weeks in are you now? To marriage? Yes. How many weeks, honey? Well, 19th, 19th of May. So oh. how many weeks? Yeah. Yes, so May 19th. May. So we've done August. Or was it the 20th? Maybe May, June, the 20th. July, August. There. We're four and a bit months in. <gasps> no, this is a lie. We got married the 20th of April. I was, was about to say, we have this because we've got the two weddings. Yes. So which one do you... We actually take the second one. I take. I think I take the second I one. I think, yeah. okay, well, let's take the second one then. And yeah. can I ask another question? Sophie um, doesn't want to change her surname. Okay. No, not until I have children. Okay. Because what well, the Why need. Would you? Why would I? Admin. <laughs> I know, but yes, the problem <laughs> is the admin. <laughs> oh, look, look at the face. Michael I think thought. that tells you what he thinks. <laughs> but Michael, when I have children, mm. it will be the first of my priority list. We don't need to. You don't need to if you don't want to. But I will. And uh, I'm but happy you know, we've to. got some friends yeah. whose son just got married. Uh-huh. And at the reception... Yeah. The bride and groom tossed a coin <gasps> to see which surname they were taking and he lost. And he went over to his parents and said, just to let you know, I'm changing my surname to her surname. They were absolutely devastated. Oh my, that is a bit of a that risky is, move. It's a that very is, risky move. That is intense. I'm not sure you'd want to be Jamie Habu. We did our honeymoon. We want to know where you, did you guys go on a honeymoon? We had a we mini did. moon. Okay, where did we you go? We went to Bath. We stayed at the Priory <laughs> Hotel in Bath. Lovely. Very just, nice. Yes. Just the two nights, was it? Two nights. Because, yeah. of course, in those days, weddings were very different. Because when we got married, I yeah. think we did cover this, uh, possibly in the last episode. I where, remember. Tell us. You know, wedding at two, photographs, reception at sort of 3.30, mm. uh, champagne canapes, speeches, cut the cake, home. Okay. Everyone out. That's, that's it. it, you're done. All over by seven. So we then drove to Bath. Much got cheaper. Got to Bath by nine. Oh, much better. Dinner, yeah. mm-hmm. etc. Okay. And honeymoon two. And then honeymoon two. Honeymoon. Mm, honeymoon two. Which was a disaster. <laughs> honeymoon two was? <laughs> honeymoon two was a year later. Okay. And so it we was were... a disaster. <laughs> Where was it, my we It to... was in somewhere called the Seychelles. <laughs> okay, yeah. If any of your viewers or listeners <laughs> yeah. or friends or family don't ever say to you... I don't want to be sued by the Seychelles Tourist Authority. Okay. Just saying, Michael. There uh, were th- lovely I elements I don't think it. it would be good for them to sue me. <laughs> um, good luck. <laughs> um, it yeah. rained. It rained. It rained. I, did, I did a lot of it research. Rained. We got off the on to, off the plane. At, yeah. What was it called? That place in Mahe. <laughs> Mahe. Yeah. Into the 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 thing to take us the to the hotel. Transfer. The bus transfer. <laughs> Glamorous. Into the thing, mm-hmm. and it was beautiful. It was so lush. Everything. I you know, said the to Michael. Yeah, I said to Michael. All... It's amazing how green everything is. I wonder how that how Lovely, they how, how they that keep happens. Keep it like that. Mm. And well, the reason we they found out. kept like that because the following morning it was pouring with rain <laughs> and it rained for two weeks three weeks <laughs> three, no, weeks. We had three weeks we had a three weeks for two weeks deal yes. so we were there for three weeks three weeks no it <laughs> said you can have three weeks if you like and we thought oh well, you might as well have three weeks <laughs> So old so fart muggins. face here, old muggins, <laughs> went for three weeks in the pouring <laughs> rain fair, instead God. of two. It wasn't raining every day. To, to be fair, it used to rain for sort of half the day and then it would be broiling hot for the other half. So yeah. you'd yes. get out to get on a sunbed and then burn to a shrivel. No, because it was of not. It was not good. good. <laughs> the worst, like though, the was that we took one of those tiny little um, sort of ten-seater planes to yeah. Bird Island. Because I said, oh, we've got to go to Bird Island, which is where there are literally eight million terns that come to nest. Mm. So it's it's a spectacular sight. Mm-hmm. There are also eight million turns as well. There. <laughs> there were so many fucking Guano. birds there shitting everywhere. Yeah. I mean, it was ridiculous. But when we arrived, we ar- <coughs> sorry, we arrived in Bird Island on this tiny plane. That was I mean, it was quite sunny. We were there for three days. <laughs> 
three days. I promise days. you, it <laughs> rained. Oh, three but, days at the bar. There was a sort of three jailer days. that came over with a bunch of keys and put us in this terrible It was a cabin. It's like a cabin. cabana. They said it's a, with a little <laughs> cabana. I yeah. said, and what the fuck is a cabana? <laughs> a well, cabana. I knew it's a very cramped wooden structure. It, well, it had a tin roof because with when it rained, roof, you couldn't hear yourself rained. I mean, so <laughs> it rained <laughs> overnight. The only thing, the good thing about the rain is it got rid of all the bird poo <laughs> from the thing. But from apart the million, from that, I think, it yeah, was the eight million turns. Yeah. This terrible noise it made. Yeah. And so, people, when we got back, said, oh, bird, oh, you must have been so lucky. Did you have a lovely time? And I said, yeah, really. Great, we played table tennis. They had a time. table tennis table. Yes. And then we played Scrabble, <laughs> and this was one of the big oh, moments the in first. our wedding. Oh, here we go. I'm oh, sorry, in our marriage. Yes. This yeah, is one of the big moments in our marriage moment. Marriage. Okay, give it yeah. to us. Tell the story, Ben. So they had a Scrabble set, and it, back I went. I ran to the, the main sort of where the restaurant things were mm. in the rain, and then I ran back with the Scrabble set. I said, look, I found a Scrabble set. We're going to play Scrabble. So he said, great. So we started playing Scrabble. Mm. And it, we, it the board was sort of relatively full and I'm I'm not very good at Scrabble. I hold my hands up. And I worked out where I was going to put my next word. He was winning by miles and I thought, oh, I could just claw some of this back now by getting this word down. Mm-hmm. What does he do? Fill the space with his word. I said, I can't believe you've just done that. He said, what do you mean? I said, well, I was going to put my word there. He said, well, I've put mine there now. I said, yes, but you're winning (laughs) substantially. I need that word. He said, well, I'm not moving it. So I said, right, well, I've had enough of this. And I literally, I got the board, I slammed it shut. I then threw it across the room and I walked out into the rain. And then I thought, why have I walked out? I'm stuck now in this pouring rain, having had a hissy Over fit. Scrabble. You are very basic. He was picking up. He he was picking up the tiles anyway. I thought, okay, my mother did give me one piece of advice before we got married, which mm. was, do not let the sun go down on an argument. And I thought, I'm going to have to just suck this up and get on with it. I'm going to have to go in there and apologise. I'm just going to have to do it. Just going to have to do it. I don't want to do it, but I'm going to do it. Mm. So in I went and I said, I'm sorry, Michael. That was not my finest moment. He said, no, it definitely wasn't. <laughs> that is sweet, I think sweet, I would have taken though. a different angle if if the ball had actually hit me. Hit you, yes. She did throw the ball at I me. did. You, you threw the missed. ball? Yes, yeah, she I threw. Did. Like a so frisbee. <laughs> oh, my. True. We were in this huge room, weren't we? We were, Enormous yeah. room. It was a horrible room. No, 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 no that, was the other, that was the other hotel where we... So oh, the, yes. the main hotel yeah. that we stayed at on the main island was so vast, mm. and again, the rain, the... There was an English manager of the hotel and he had recorded, we're we're way back before, you know, DVDs and streaming and all of that, but he had recorded a lot of English shows Mm. on video that he would then put on one of the channels on the TV that play on a loop. So Minder and all these, you know, sort of quite crappy old comedy shows. So we would watch a bit of that. Yeah. But I'd also, I don't know why, it was a sort of, Almost like a tick for me when we went on holiday. I would always take a badminton set. Don't ask why. I quite like that, though. I love a badminton set. I think that's set. a great idea. Yeah. All right. So we then set up. <clears throat> well, we didn't set it up. So what, what we then did in this massive room, we used to play badminton over the double bed. That was the net. Stop. And we would literally play badminton when it was raining that in our room sweet. across the double bed. That is Remember that? very sweet. I do. That is romantic. I know. The White Horse, I want to say a huge thank you. For coming on. You guys are just fab. Honestly, you're just the greatest. Well, we Thank love you, you so guys much. Too. I know. And, and, you know, you have a very special place in our hearts now, particularly because you are in charge of the moral upbringing of our Peggy. I know. <gasps> yes. We're yes. family. We're family moral now. Moral guardians yeah. you are now. We're family. family. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, Michael, you can see me now as your second son. Mm. We love you guys. Thank you love so much. Bye. 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 Honestly. The funniest. <sighs> the greatest couple. I adore Hillary. Michael Whitehill's the funniest person. Him, his, like... Demeanour. His whole demeanour. It's like, how was anyone born that funny? Oh I just God. don't understand it. But it does show that it's like comedy keeps relationships alive. No, but he's like funny naturally. Like He's, he's not naturally? trying to crack a joke. Like, he's just innately... Funny. 
funny. He's so good. Um, I just want to say, I really hope you guys enjoyed that episode. We absolutely loved having the Whitehalls on. And thank you for your listeners' messages. Thank you. They were so great. If you, you. want to send in the listeners' messages, you can. Um, we desperately want to hear from you. Anything at all, remember, you can send them to our email, uh, which is newlyweds at jampopproductions.co.uk. The email is in the description or slide into our DMs at newlyweds podcast. Oh my God. Um, also, if you haven't already, it makes a huge difference to us if you click that subscribe button wherever you're listening to our podcast and also on YouTube. It just takes one second. It means everything in the world. So if that's the end of the podcast. Oh, sister. Oh, baby. If you're getting engaged. Good luck. If you're getting married. Have the best time. If you're getting divorced. Well, go for it. And if you are single. You are a freaking legend. Legends all around. All right, legends. Love you. We love you guys more than anything. We'll see you next Monday for another episode. Bye, 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 bye. 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 bye.